Welcome to my channel, Enlightenment in the Darkness. I am Witch Hazel, and this is my familiar, Midnight. <coughs> Halloween is the perfect time for connecting with these mystical energies of the universe and gazing to see what the future holds in store for you. Today, Midnight, and I will be sharing how to make a scrying mirror for divining purposes. Scrying is from the Middle English word descry, which means to divine, and was most commonly done by crystal gazing. When you gaze at a shiny or blank surface, it opens up the door to the subconscious mind and taps into extrasensory perceptions. The tool itself is just a tool and holds no inherent powers just like a paintbrush has no inherent powers. However, in the hands of the right person, it can create a masterpiece. The image of the seer peering into the crystal ball is the most well-known example of scrying, but you don't actually need a crystal ball. In fact, it doesn't even have to be a crystal at all. All you need is something to gaze at some people scry into bowls or pots of water, some scry into still water bodies like ponds. Some people scry into flat crystals or objects of shiny, polished metal. Still, others prefer fire scrying, gazing into the dancing flames. A scrying mirror is one of the most accessible tools that you can make yourself and for very little money. It's also no more or less difficult to learn to scry into a mirror than it is into a crystal or fire the technique is the same. Now let's go gather our materials to create a sacred scrying mirror. Go to a thrift shop and search for a picture frame that you like. Most people prefer a round frame for scrying. Mine is oval, though I've known people to use a square with great results. I don't think the shape of the reflective surface makes that much of a difference. Purchase the frame you like. Come home with it, clean it, and polish it up. Remove the glass or acrylic out of the frame. Lay the glass on newspaper. Clean it thoroughly with a window cleaner and a lint-free cloth. Allow the glass to air dry. Make sure it's streak and smudge-free. Paint the surface of the glass with metallic or glossy black paint. I like acrylic because they dry so quickly. Do as many thin coats as you need, getting them as streak-free as possible. You want complete coverage? Just let each coat dry a little in between. When it's completely dry, put it back into the frame with the painted side on the inside. Spray and wipe the front of the glass now to remove any smudges and streaks. Wrap it in a soft cloth and store it where no one can bother it. Learning to become proficient with your scrying mirror will take far more time and practice than making it. If you've been meditating regularly 
and are skilled in other forms of divination. Or if you seem to have a natural psychic twinkle, you may find success more quickly than you realize. It's really hard to tell who's going to have a knack for it, but don't get discouraged if it takes time. The first thing you might want to do is cleanse, consecrate, and charge your scrying mirror. Through this process, you essentially banish any negative or old energies that the object may have picked up over the years, bless it for spiritual use, and infuse it with energies more conducive to its new use. I personally recommend allowing it to absorb the light of a full moon and keeping it with a moonstone crystal. Prepare your altar, or ritual space. You can do a full-blown ritual if you wish. Casting a circle and invoking your deities, but this isn't actually necessary. If you prefer, skip the formalities and just clear a quiet place. Stand your mirror up. That's why I like picture frames with a stand in the back. Put one candle on either side of it and light the candles. Dim the lights. Arrange the candles and mirror so they reflect light on the surface, but so that you can't see your own reflection. Get into a meditative state. If you have a particular issue to which you're seeking answers, meditate on that for a while. If not, just be mindful and go into an altered state of consciousness. When you're ready, gaze into the reflective surface. Soften your gaze so that you're almost looking past the surface, peering deep into the mirror. Let your consciousness drift. Don't try to think of anything in particular. Don't try to clear your mind. Just see what comes. You may get actual visions, either in your mind or in the mirror. You might hear your spirit guides, get impressions, or simply have gut feelings. Don't analyze it at this point. Just allow it to come and go. Let the session last as long as you feel is necessary. It can be as little as 15 minutes, or as long as several hours. Again, don't even think about time. It's irrelevant. When you're done, I recommend writing down your impressions immediately, as they have a way of fading. Once you've opened yourself to messages, don't be surprised if they continue to come through signs or in dreams for the next few days. This is a perfect quiet activity for Sawin Knight, for anyone looking to perform divination who is not trained in more complicated systems. You'll probably have more luck at this time of year, as it is so ripe for these kinds of energies. And lastly, I recommend to cleanse after your scrying session to banish away any unwanted energies that may have tried invading your space. What are your thoughts about making and using a scrying mirror on Halloween night? Please feel free to comment your thoughts below. I would like to thank you for joining me here today on my channel, Enlightenment in the Darkness. Please like and subscribe to my content. Many blessings to the rest of your day.